GDDR6 is um kind of amazing. AMD's got a big announcement coming and free games with graphics cards? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before I get started, make sure to check out the official GamerMeld store. Currently, there's only a couple simple t-shirts, but that's what the design contest is for, which already has a few great entries, by the way. And until the winner is announced next month, I'm offering 15% off the dark tee. Check that link out in the description below. So GDDR6, while not the stacked video RAM we had hoped for, it's much cheaper to produce than HBM2 and is actually incredibly fast. At 16 gigabits per second, Micron's future GDDR6 is significantly faster than their 12 gigabit per second GDDR5X and double the speed of GDDR5. And while other manufacturers like Samsung have their own GDDR6, Micron is the most likely contender to end up inside NVIDIA's next generation graphics cards, considering NVIDIA used their GDDR5X and Pascal. Plus, the timing of Micron's announcement, etc., just really seems to add up. So why am I even talking about Micron and why does it matter who makes it? Well, in the company's GDDR6 research article, Micron goes over quite a few different aspects of their upcoming memory. Much of it is pretty interesting, but the biggest part is right here, where they discuss the potential for overclocking. At first, they had determined that the limit was speeds up to 16.5 gigabits per second, but when they bypassed the memory array, which sometimes holds back the architecture with quote timing limitations, Micron was able to get their memory up to 20 gigabits per second. And all they had to do was boost the supply voltage by a small amount. To give you an idea of the memory bandwidth this brings to the table, with a 384-bit bus at 20 gigabits per second, it would output a bandwidth of 960 gigabytes per second, which even beats the incredibly expensive Tesla V100's 900 gigabytes per second theoretical bandwidth. That's definitely impressive, and while HBM2 still saves a good bit of space, the higher production costs make it a tough pill to swallow. Either way, this is a great step forward to getting us that much closer to 4K at high frame rates. Of course, this is just something possible while essentially bypassing a part of the architecture. Let's just hope they're actually able to implement the ability one day. Next up for today, AMD sent out a press release that gives us some information on their upcoming press conference at Computex. Among them was a really interesting bit of news. AMD states that they're going to have, quote, never before seen hardware demonstrations, as well as details showcasing high performance leadership and innovation. Of course, as a pretty large hardware company, AMD could be referring to just about anything here, from their machine learning 7 nanometer Vega GPUs, second gen Threadripper, to even the Z490 chipsets we've seen leaked not too long ago. Basically, we don't know, but it's exciting to think of the possibilities. And luckily, you won't be waiting long because the conference is held on the 6th of June. Lastly for today, it looks like GPU sales are really getting back to normal. Found by video cards, NVIDIA is apparently planning on running a promotion for a free copy of Crew 2 with either a 1080, 1080 Ti, or select laptops or gaming PCs. The game doesn't release until the 29th of June, so you might want to wait until then if you plan on buying a new high-end GPU anytime soon. So while that does it for today, what do you think AMD's announcement will be? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to show your love for tech with a GamerMail t-shirt, check that out in the description below. And as always, have a great day.